Welcome back fellow adventurers. I'm Kimi, this is Make an Adventure. We're building a tiny house on the back of a truck. This is the rear storage bin on the passenger side. I think I'm doing a pretty bad job of trying to tell you the whole master plan of what, I, what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna try to explain that a little bit better because I, it does look a little bit confusing. Most RVs of the size that we're building have some sort of exterior storage that goes straight through the middle of the cab. So if you want to put something that's eight feet long, the rig is eight foot wide, you could put it in that area. We don't have the option to do that. So the idea was we could have a really long uninterrupted bay and we could put something in here that's over eight feet long. Now, if I leave a door this large, this wide, there's no way that that's going to be structural strong enough to support whatever we put in here bouncing up and down on the road unless I make it like two or three inches thick. So my idea was to have one door that is a regular size small door and then one door that's this entire area. So that's what we're doing. This is the, the frame for the first door and I need to actually build the first door, stick it in here, skin it, and then we'll build the second door that's gonna go inside of that one. Before I actually build that frame, I wanna stick a flex this frame in place so that I can get a nice, accurate measurement. And of course, after I sickaflex and put this piece on, thankfully I haven't let it dry yet, but I forgot to put these side panels on, so I need to scramble and get that. So, two seconds, I'll be right back. I've got these pieces cut right here. I just gotta get them stuck on, and while I was out there, Went ahead and cut the wood to size two. So we'll get all that stuck on there and then we will go on to the frame. All this is the same as the last bin. We haven't got to the weird stuff yet. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to stop right there for the night. Um, I was right about to open another tube of Sikaflex, but I don't have enough time to finish using it tonight, so I don't wanna waste it. But this is what we got. I measured the opening and cut the panel uh, to, to cover up this gap. And then I did the same thing for, did the, the same thing for this one, so that leaves us just one door in the middle. But as you can see, this design is way better than those T-shaped pieces. I have actually a frame that I can pull out and put back in, other than trying to line up two individual pieces. But that's gonna do it. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. 